Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, and welcome back for a new installment of the Solo Experience. Today I have for you a wonderful round of Seal Rock, this time featuring The Machinist. I can highly recommend giving The Machinist a shot if you are yet to try it out for yourself. Long range, amazing burst damage, and a drill limit break combo to insta-kill any squishy. You are also the only job who can deal huge damage for a player's guard ability. So if you enjoy a good aggressive playstyle, then The Machinist is a good pick. As in this video, I land 13 kills to 1.3 million damage. In a well-played match by my entire alliance, ending with a juicy spawn camp. Thank you all for your continued support as we are rapidly approaching 2300 subscribers. Enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's begin. Starting off very strong, we have the Cave Spawn, which for Seal Rock holds the best advantages. Right out of the gate, I always head north to the cliff, in case of a fresh node spawn, while also carefully watching my team to see if they move together. I can clearly see that I am able to push north to engage against the Immortals. As a ranged role, you never want to be the first in, but at the same time, you never want to shy away, especially as a machinist. The damage you can provide will allow your allies to steamroll any singled out target, and with no resistance in our way, the team is clear to move on in. I lead the charge as far too many players are far too hesitant. If I lead the way and a few follow, soon enough the rest of the team will join, positioning ourselves nicely behind the Immortals, Right now, I do not focus too much on kills myself. Instead, I am simply pumping in damage into those either weak or targets that are fairly squishy. This is the chance for some nice big early lead, which in later stages could be a game saver. The Maelstrom also take advantage of our flank, using this as their chance to move in. That there is my cue to leave. We have achieved our goal and should not overstay our welcome. I want to loop back north through mid, as the Immortals will be respawning with immortality. The node here is of no importance, it is still early game. Right now, staying alive and obtaining battle highs will have much more endgame benefits than risking losing the fight with the Maelstrom after gaining such a great start. Plus, heading back north after taking down the Immortals gets us ready for fresh node spawns and to take on the Immortal Flames, which may want some vengeance. Along the way, myself and an ally run into an already weakened Dancer. There was no reason to engage with the Samurai as we would have no chance to kill him before his team showed up. A Dancer, on the other hand, is a very easy target for a Machinist. Anytime you can safely claim a free kill, do not shy away. Shortly after, I can continue my rotation north to regroup with my team, who was still on their retreat, against a slightly pissed off Immortal Flames. I take a look at the situation, to see we are losing the retreat. However, we can still turn this around. Firstly, I want to move back towards the barricades. That gives me natural cover to abuse line of sights, giving me free range to take out those leading the charge. Firstly by taking out the overconfident Monk, followed shortly by their Dancer out of position. The prime chance to unleash the Analyst Drill combo into a Limit Break, which deals so much damage so fast, against other ranged players they simply cannot react in time. I also look for any chance to apply the Bio Blaster, a wonderful skill for crowd control, as the heavy effect can force many to burn through their Purify. It may look like we are starting to lose this battle, however now we have successfully baited them into a bunch. Now with the Immortals on full retreat, I begin with a nice wildfire onto their machinist. The following compiled damage explosion took care of him, followed by a scattergun blast up close with this reaper for an easy kill steal, putting myself in a great position with a battle high 4. Again leading the charge, we have no issue in cleaning up those left behind, landing myself a 6 kill and a battle high 3, just as a new node spawns in mid. Having this battle high 3, I am now much more confident. I said earlier that you do not want to be the first in. And as we approach mid, the Maelstrom's distraction was far too good to pass upon. Also, with my own level of experience, I am confident in my own survival. A wise choice, as within seconds I boosted myself into a battle high 4, landing a bio finisher upon the bard, then finish off a gunbreaker and a ninja caught slacking right as their team 4 retreated. Now is a good time to further the score gap. We were able to begin by taking down those Falleners to get caught out in the open. I do not rush in as my team's attention was divided with the Immortals, who decided they wanted a round 3. Check my positioning. I am hugging close to this wall, as I am aiming to punish those who step in. And thanks to how the limit break works, once locked on, even diving behind cover is of no use. Securing my battle high 5 against this Dancer, and together with the team shutting down the Immortals within seconds. This cleared the path for us to move south, to pinch the Maelstrom from the side. 
whose attention was also divided by the remaining immortals. Their small and simple yet effective play managed to put us in the lead by another hundred score. After securing a few extra kills against the Maelstrom, it is about time to fall back to get ready for new nodes. The one here is about to finish up. There is no longer anything for the Maelstrom to gain, therefore it no longer needs guarding. I retreat back to the mid-ready in case we need to push north through the cave. I hang around as I spotted a few immortals, who look like they may be tempted to move in. I also saw on the map the Maelstroms were grouping up against my team. I head back south to aid with the retreat, however once again the immortals have gained their attention. We snag those who decide to rush us alone, and with the node completely gone, and a fully grouped up Immortals and Maelstrom, now is my time to get out. I do not want to get caught between the two, dispatching a Dark Knight along the way securing my ninth kill. Just as the Maelstrom rush in, I pop my guard early, as my level 5 battle height paints a target right on my head, giving myself the time needed to slink back into the cave, just in time as the Immortals came in with a flank from the north. During this retreat, I was also able to snipe down yet another poor dancer. From here on, I do not need to get aggressive. I start by trying to steal the targets the Immortals engage upon, while also looking to capitalize on any chance to apply AoE damage. I shall also end the voiceover here, as my playstyle does not change. Coming up, you shall see me repeat the same strategies, leading into a full spawn camp against the Immortals, who unfortunately end the round with barely 100 score. Enjoy the remaining engagement of this match, and let me know down below how you find playing the Machinist. Thanks for tuning in, and I shall see you all in the next one.